inside there and it, uh, the magnet has a north-south uh, like every magnet it's north and south and we change the polarity where it meets the neodymium magnet again with the chip so we change the polarity north-south 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 um, at incredible speed and that urges and repulses the neodymium magnet on the shaft so it goes it goes round there's nothing to wear out on it there's no motor carbon uh, coming out of it, uh, the electronics are all contained within it. It's incredibly simple, robust construction and very robust impeller. And the net result is that it's a motor that uses far fewer materials, terribly important, a third of the weight, um, twice the power. We um, spent over six million pounds doing a totally automated line to produce it. The line can produce some other motors we're designing, but it is totally automated. There are no people on it. It's absolutely repeatable from one motor to another. <coughs> Quality is the highest you could possibly get. Uh, it's totally consistent, totally reliable. It doesn't take tea breaks. We'll work day after day, month after month, producing motors in precisely the same manner. Where is it located? It's in Singapore, in a clean room environment. What's the capacity? Oh, it's well over a million units a year. Uh, all the technologies are developed here. It's manufactured in Singapore, but they're British engineers who are 
who are um, developing this new breakthrough technology. There's no other motor manufacturer that's manufacturing motors like these. There's no other motor manufacturer in the world developing motors or producing motors that go 100,000 RPM or anywhere near our speed. Now, we, we did some thermal imaging of electric motors, and that's a conventional electric motor, and that's our new motor. And as you can see, there's much more heat and larger areas of heat in the conventional motor. And that is heat, wasted heat, wasted electricity. So that's, that's the significance of developing better motors, better technology electric motors, which our competitors aren't doing, but we think it's the heart of the product and an area where we can make a huge, huge difference. One question with the digital motor, is there a limit? Because it's obviously very fast. Mm -hmm. What about the power? Can you make sure, does it expand out? to train engines? Could you make a train engine on the same engine? Um, I don't know about train engines, but, but the, the, the technology we've developed, not exactly the same as this technology, because this is really only suitable for relatively small motors, but we're developing other motors that are bigger than that. Yes, yes, that's, that's at the bottom end of our scale. The theory works. But, but, but yes, what we're doing and the technology we've developed and the sort of skills we have in Dyson Mount and our scientists and engineers, we can develop motors of far greater size, yes. Mm. And, and we why see that as, as a very exciting thing for the future because the motor can often make a whole difference between the product being brilliant and being awful. So it will give us an entree into new products. Why is it that there aren't more of your competitors developing the same sort of thing? I mean, it seems fairly obvious to improve electric motors, which I use for the them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. They don't really develop things. They seem to either follow us or carry on as they were before. We've been selling them in Japan for four years, so that that was a, if you like, a dry run. Uh, but now we, we know that we can produce them successfully, and that the failure rate is very low. Um, we're, we're going into much bigger production.